Hi everyone. Today I will bring a talk about our work, confidence-based 3D semi-supervised learning. Um, firstly, I will introduce some existing works. Uh, many methods has been proposed for semi-supervised learning, such as fixed match, mixed match, flex match. Uh, however, directly implement 2D semi-supervised learning method on 3D cannot achieve satisfied the results. Um, besides, compared to the 2D dataset. Uh, 3D point cloud that is hard to be overfitting. Finally, unlike to 2D datasets, 3D dataset is inherently imbalanced. Um, uh, the fixed match is a common used uh, semi supervised learning method. It has two models. Uh, the teacher model uh, utilizes weakly augmented image as input to teach the student model, which utilizes the strongly augmented image as input. However, there's a big drawback of a fixed match. It utilizes a fixed threshold, um, which harms the performance. Uh, to solve this problem, a fixed match proposes a curriculum procedural labeling to dynamic choose the threshold. Um, however, we still find some drawbacks for a fixed match. Firstly, uh, it that doesn't demonstrate the correlation between numbers of high confidence instances and the learning status. Secondly, it cannot be implemented in imbalanced dataset. Hence, the motivation of this work is to dig into the reason for better performance for 2D semi-supervised learning. Secondly, we find that uh, there is a high correlation between the class level confidence and the test accuracy in both 3D classification and detection tasks, like two figures in the below. Uh, based on this finding, we propose a 3D spe specific semi supervised learning method. Um, we, uh, this is a framework for our method. Uh, our framework utilizes average confidence on unlabeled data to resample both labeled and unlabeled data. Besides, average confidence is implemented to, as dynamic threshold to choose the pseudo label. Uh, the first part is the dynamic threshold. Uh, the first step, we obtain unlabeled data um, class level confidence. Then we use the class level confidence to obtain dynamic threshold for each class. Uh, finally, we use the dynamic threshold to filter unlabeled data instance as pseudo labels. The second part is the uh, data resampling. Uh, even with the proposed dynamic threshold, Learning status between classes still remain imbalanced due to the imbalanced data set and the invariance of learning difficulty. To solve this problem, a resample method is proposed to increase sampling probability, probability of low learning status classes. Uh, to evaluate the performance of our work, we, we conduct experiments in both 3D classification and detection tasks. This is a result for 3D classification tasks in model net 40 and the uh, scan object uh, dataset. Mm. And uh, this is the 3D detection tasks on some RGBD and the scan net dataset. Uh, we can find that our proposed method significantly outperforms the sort of methods in both the 3D detection and the classification tasks. So all in all, um, we we have an uh, interesting finding that the class level confidence can represent the learning status of each class uh, in both 3D 